Today we're going to look at Mind42. We're looking at seven different mind mapping solutions in about seven days. Today we're talking about Mind42. It's an online resource and it's actually kind of cool. So sit down, sit back, let's talk about this thing and let's do it. Okay, so let's talk about Mind42. You can get there through mind42.com. So pretty simple. I'm going to talk about some of the features I like. I'm going to try and go a little bit quick here. I want to make sure I cover as much as I want to, but I don't want to sit here and, and bore everyone else here too. A couple of the features of Mind42. One is that obviously it's based on the web. Now, 42 is the answer to life according to the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. So if you don't get the 42 reference, that's the whole point of it. This says it's good for collaboration. I didn't get a chance to try it myself for collaboration. It looks pretty simple though. There's a one click you can do and you can email people off and so you can share. Pretty good idea. As far as the price goes, generally it's free. As you can see though on the side, there are some ads and they're kind of huge actually, but for the most part, it's free. It costs five euros to remove the ads for a year and about 20 if you want to get rid of them forever. I've got to say, looking at this, I like this a lot. There's a ton of things I like. I can't, don't have time to go into absolutely everything. But as far as the sign up, quick sign up. It, enter my email, my name, and they email it back to me. I confirmed it. Good. Really, really simple. Super, super functional. I like this. It just works. If you want a new sibling, you hit S. If you want a new child, you hit C. So I'll give you an example here. If you want another sibling, hit S. They'll throw me one down, a new node down below. I want to go for a child, I'll be on whichever one I want the child on. Hit C and it gives me a new node right below it. Cool, cool, cool. Something else that's really cool is if you hover over something, it'll give you clues as to what you can do. It'll say, well, add child node C, add sibling node S. So you can tell it's actually, it's very user friendly. Drag and drop. I didn't think they'd be able to do this from a, on a web point of view, but you can. You can just grab something. You can move it down and you can see, if you watch the relation, you can see the line showing you exactly where it's going to drag and where it's going to move. The bird view is pretty cool. Let's see what I just put in here. Yeah, let's just see quickly where you are. If you watch, I'll throw a little highlighter where we are, but you can, for larger maps, this will obviously be a better thing. You can grab this and you can drag around so you can see on a large scale where you are and then on the main window, it'll zoom you into exactly where you need to be. The larger the map, the more important this is going to be. The left click and drag. This is one of my favorite things too. I can left click anywhere on the page and just drag and drop it around to wherever I need it. Very, very simple, very, very intuitive. There's a global collapse and expand all nodes. This is nice too. When you're working on something, it's a pain to go back through and manually collapse this node and then this node and, and you're going back and opening and closing all these nodes. If you go up to the top, there's a collapse and expand all nodes. Like, boom, collapse everything, or boom, uh, open everything as well, expand everything. Quick, easy to use. The revision structure. I wanted to talk about this revision structure. I just, I thought it was really, really cool. So, because they, they can't save everything, but they try and save as much as humanly possible. Every five minutes, they automatically save what you're working on. Every hour from after that hour, first hour, they save. So, if it's 24 times in the, the next day, you get a save. Every day over the last week it's saved, every week over the last month, and then every month from then on in. So the cool revision structure. The to-do list. I can't believe they've got a to-do list on this little free internet app. I'll show you how it works. Well, I've already got one set up here, so I'm going to go into the, this one up here. We'll do cool revision structure. If I head over, I, there's a to-do right here. I'm going to click on the to-do, and I can enter something in. I'll enter, enter a new to-do for this particular one. Put the description as... Um, I don't know what that was. Share with everyone. I can say share with everyone. Yeah, we're we're getting there. We're about twenty five percent done. Click on that, and we're good to go. And you can see that it's actually listed right here. I've also got a to do list on talk about the to dos. And when I when I hover over it, it pops up. It shows you exactly what the what you're doing in the to do list. It shows you when you set it. It shows you the priority level. It shows you how far you are into completion. And it shows you what you're talking about. This is, that's awesome. For free, this is good. This is good stuff. And the last point that I think is really cool too, is you can dictate notes. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press C to give a child note underneath it. And once I go under there, you can see that there's the little microphone tab there. So we'll go in here and say, 
You can dictate notes. Bada bing, bada boom. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so there's a lot of things I like. I'm, I'm actually shocked at how good this thing is. I really, really am surprised at how well this thing works. What I don't like. What I'm not sure I like is that it, it auto adjusts the nodes. And that's, for the most part, that's fine. It's just that you can't turn it off. Another thing that I'm not quite sure about is that in the notes, it says that you should be able to see the sharing options down below in the lower left hand side. And I've tried minimizing this and trying to, I don't know, do whatever. And on my laptop, I can't seem to see the bottom corner exactly, the bottom left corner. I can see a little bit of something going on, but I don't know what that is. And so I'm assuming that's my sharing options, but I can't quite get to it. So that's one thing that I, I'm not sure about. The zoom, right now this thing is fully zoomed in, and I don't think the zoom is big enough. I, it's great that you can go really wide so you can move things around for, for big maps, and it just doesn't quite go to the size I like. Obviously, I can just use the zoom on the browser, but that's not the point. I, I wanted to, It'd be nice to be able to do this through Mine42. Again, not a huge thing, but if you're doing a presentation with this thing, it could be a, a bit of a limiting factor. And the last thing is that the ads are huge. Like, look at these things. They're gigantic. And uh, uh, actually, right now, the, the screen's cutting them off a little bit, but they're really, really big. And I'm not trying to complain. I know it's, it's cheap to get rid of them, $5 or 5 euros for a year, 20 forever. But again, I'm just trying to find things that I think are uh, little negatives about this. But with the quality of this thing, I'm actually, I'm kind of excited about these guys making a little bit of money. I would like to see this thing stick around Mine42 because I'm, I'm kind of digging it. I've got to say, though, I was really surprised overall with Mine42. I looked at it and I thought, yeah, it looks pretty good. But when I really sat down and used it, it's intuitive. It's super light. And that's the great thing. It's really, really light. It's easy to learn. It's easy to use. Anyone can pretty much pick it up and figure out what they're doing. And it works fantastic. The to-do list and the dictation, I, that's free. I, that's really, really good. Now, clearly, I want to make sure you understand this, too. I'm not saying this thing can go head-to-head -head with an X-Mind or a MindJet, because that's not their point. That's not the purpose of this. It's a quick and dirty, cloud-based, mind-mapping piece of software, piece of brilliance, and it does exactly what I would expect it to do. I like it. Overall, my impression is, wow. If you're looking for something cloud-based, check out Mind42. It's, it's pretty cool stuff. So there you go, Mind42. Check it out. Let me know in the comments what you think. Like it if you like it. Until next time, guys, I'm Kevin Oxner. Take care. So if the answer to the meaning of life is 42, that must mean that the chance of anything good happening in my lifetime would be 1 divided by 42. Yeah, those are pretty good odds.